Okay, here we are, a few days later, because weekends. It be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. Okay. Very well. Now, loads of people have said that they would like the dome light off rather than on. I can get that. I like the ambience too. Uh, right, so we've got just loads of gates. All right. Doesn't look too bad. We've got to go up here first, I would say. Uh, looks like we're going to be going off road a lot here, though. Uh, that's not grand. I'm not going to lie. About the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long winded. Because okay. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James K., was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the Deep Zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any mad made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10 mile radius. They had to be awake. Of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. I see. That certainly sounds interesting. Uh, is this something I could just m move around a bit? I think I would like to have this in the trunk here. But interesting that she she termed it widespread insanity. It's kind of a disparaging way to put it. Tobias seems far more, uh, well, not so much positive, but at least less uh, dismissive about it. Interesting. Uh, can I make some first aid kits? I would like to have one or two more on me at all times. There we go. I figure that before we start diving into something that might end up being bad for us, I may as well make some, uh, make some survival gear to, uh, help us through the worst of it. Uh, we're probably gonna need another one of these and one of these, but we're not gonna get to that for a little while, I don't think. No. Okay, I think just having the med kits is fine. Let's do a once over on the car. Anything I need to be aware of? Uh, those pieces aren't in tip top condition, but they're not awful. All right, I think it's time for us to get on the way. Oh, there we go. We were in drive the whole time. Okay, the area behind us is now sealed. Now at this point, we've basically got nowhere to put anything, so. I'm not really going to be scavenging in this zone. I've had comments suggesting that that is tragic in the most excessive way because apparently... Oh, really? I thought that was going to be weak enough that we could just poop through it, but... Uh, apparently, we are going to regret that being in this zone. I wish someone hadn't told me that because now I feel so much worse. But oh well. I'm uh, just going to have to live with it, I guess. All right, we're going to be following these pipes then. As Dr. Turner said, we may as well just follow the pipes. We've got something something over there that I disapprove of. Something something over there that I very much disapprove of. I'm just going to pop out and check that out in a second. Though, one thing I will do, since I have got a tiny bit of room, I am going to vacuum up these. There we go. I'm so glad that I now know how to do that. Uh... Also, I may as well grab these platelets while I'm here. Look, I know we haven't got that much room, but these seem like things that don't pop up too often. And as long as I'm only grabbing a few odds and sods, we should be okay. Right. You vacuum everything up, please. I probably shouldn't use that for such a trivial thing, considering, but... Ah, uh, screw it. Uh, anything there? No, it doesn't look like it. Now, I am 100% going to be turning on uh, post-processing gamma shenanigans to try and help out a bit. What the heck is this? Let's have a look. Looks like ferrous, some sort of ferrous liquid there. Okay. And we've got a car over here. May as well check the trunk since I'm already out of my car. Sure, I'll grab a little bit of everything. Right, let's pop back inside and see what that anomaly was before we continue on. 
Right, so, logbook. Here. A spike puddle. Partial memo, Battalion Headquarters, February 21st, 1964. Captain Neil Douglas Filling. Oh, sorry, Filing. That's not capitalised, so it's not the rest of the name. Today, when engaged in pursuit of a pair of zone trespassers, three vehicles from B Company were damaged and put out of action by what may have been traps deliberately laid. The trespassers who crossed from Canada via the Salish Sea, uh, and may be fugitives, are believed to have landed somewhere near Joyce after travelling via a small boat. After multiple sightings and ex extensive tracking, we encountered the trespassers at approximately 1100 hours and began the vehicular pursuit down several fire roads. Driving a stolen government car, the trespassers evaded capture for some time and were able to prevent further pursuit by la leading our team across patches of some kind of semi-organic oil-like spikes. All three cars used in the pursuit suffered destroyed tires and damaged wheels. It is unclear at this time whether these patches had been somehow laid in response to the pursuit or had existed some time beforehand. The patches are extremely dangerous and are utterly unlike anything we've seen before. Recommend requisition tracked vehicles from Fort Lewis for further exploration. Oh, okay. Found in blistering woods. Right here. Oh, sorry. Probably helps if I'm not in park. Uh, let's pop. A different station on, shall we? What's that? Oh, I see what you are. Look, I am a loot goblin through and through. There's also. Why are there so many things over here that I want to see? There's rude. Uh, okay, we're going to drop this off in exchange for that. There we are. A trade. We have made a trade with the zone. I Should we have a read of that now? Maybe we should. Let's go in and see what things we've got. Uh, there we are. Anomaly slides. Here we are. Arda Cat Ref 1.22. One of the earliest consistently reported anomalies this mimicked may artificially not... Uh, this mimicked... Uh, oh, this art anomaly mimicked many artificial noises made in its presence. A tiny burrowing bolt-shaped anomaly. This would surface and immediate engine, uh, imitate engine noises, radio static, or in particular, sirens. Studying these was difficult, as those approaching them suffered immediate nausea and dizziness. Sightings dropped to zero soon after the first crawlers manifested. Hmm, okay. Perhaps in some way related to the crawlers, then. Alright, well we'll stop for obvious, like, loot caches, but I'm not really going to go out of my way to grab anything else, even though I've said that a few times now, and every single time, I've uh, then promptly gotten out to grab something. My bad. Oh, hello. Uh, we need to turn off here. Right here. Following the limb tech. Do we need fuel? No, we're good for fuel. Assuming that the uh, pipes here are full of, I don't know, something? I mean, it wouldn't be energy. It would probably be fuel, actually. Uh, what is over there? Okay, then. There's a couple of things here. First and foremost, let's go and see this. I will use my AVAC vision. Since I can see relatively well if it's not pitch black. Not have to pop a, a flare if I know that I'm not going to be uh, shocked to us. If I know that I'm not going... If I know I'm going to be turning on gamma, that is. Okay, well, I'm happy to check out another anomaly. Alright, so there's modified versions of things. So there's Taurus and then there's a modified Taurus. Okay. I wonder if there are other modifications. Journal fragment, date unknown. You know what? It's an increasingly bad time in the zone these days. Every day, when I step out my door, I should get a different job. Uh, sorry, every day when I step outside my door. I should get a different job. I should do something else. It's getting worse. I swear these things are all but springing up out of thin air. And now we have this chain reaction thing. This brutal, deadly trap that just outright slaughters people. Whose lines of... Uh, whole lines of these dummies. Any one of them capable of setting off all of the rest. Seven people have died in three days. 
You know what it feels like to me? Like the zone is murdering us, even like it enjoys doing so. It's as if something really, really doesn't want us here. And you know what? That's fine by me. Tomorrow morning, I'm out. Hmm. I'm afraid that that person just rose an incredibly bright death flag there. Let's not get even close to it. That's like saying I'm one day from retirement. Come on. I thought people knew how this worked. Okay, more of them. All right, that's going to be a little bit of a concern. Wow, why am I shocked? Did I hit it? Oh, it doesn't look like it, but okay. Right. Lost. Find no? a cool in pipe and follow it. I'm literally here. Are you even paying attention to this arc device that you got me lugging around? Also, also. Yes. More lights. Also, 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 also. More lead platelets. I can still break those down, it seems. Yeah, I can. Uh, I'm not going to. But I could. What's to say that once I break, once I link all of these devices, that the storm immediately starts and it is brutal. That's my guess. That's why I'm keeping the food in my hot bar and also topping up on medical supplies. Since, you know, I seem to be quite adept at bandaging myself whilst driving through quite, quite rough conditions, honestly. Alright, we will pull up just outside, it looks like. Oh, that's actually very, very useful. Okay. Alright, let's continue up this way. Now, can I make it up here? Is that a bit of a too high of a trip there? Because I would love it. It looks like that might be a bit of a shortcut for us. I think that's going downhill. Yeah. All right. I think that's what we'll try and do. All right. Well, while I'm here... Hello? Hello! I will take all of these. Maybe I should pop a flare anyway. Some of these places are actually quite dark, and even with gamma correction, since I don't like applying too much gamma correction at once, it might still be a little bit difficult to see anyway. Here we are. Hi. Hmm. Um. You know, 30 seconds of hallucinations oh my God. sure didn't feel short when I was free-falling to outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of Saturn sing? I saw disembodied arms. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. And, uh, well, what about you, Oppie? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But weren't you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? <laughs> okay. Wow. Touchy. Yeah. yeah. Scalawax. But I'm on to your shenanigans. Scoundrels. Alright, uh, okay. Uh, let's hop back in. Okay then. That one's done. Really. And you even took the space that I was just in. Scoundrels, the lot of you. However, I have no intention of playing your silly games. Also, just pop my tire. Maybe I do have intentions of playing your silly games then. Uh, but we're going down this way. I could hop out and grab those lights though before I go. Yeah, me as well. While I've got this, I might as well use it to its fullest. Thank you. But of course... Now that we know the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination, maybe we can figure out what caused it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. Oh, goodness. Don't start. 
Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using Lim to motivate that gamma ray burst. Oh, yes, precisely. Oh. And where do right, gamma rays to go come down from? This gently. Outer space. Feedback on planet Earth, kid. There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 no. You, you said it yourself. The energy levels from that night were much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb-assisted mass particle collision. Or, heck, tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. A reservoir? Or a portal? A portal? <laughs> to where exactly? To Atlantis! Of course! Now, why didn't I think of that? Uh... That's absolutely it! Look, okay, I like Tobias's enthusiasm, but I will agree with Dr. Turner here. <laughs> maybe jumping straight to that, straight to aliens, is maybe a bit much, but I, I do, again, stand by Tobias's enthusiasm. I like it, and I like him. Right, let's hop out. I need to fix that tire. What's wrong? Oh. Oh. Bald. Fix none. Blown out. Fix no. Oh. That sucks. <sighs> and I'm in radiation right now, so let's make this fast. That's why we keep a spare. Oh, well, leaving it behind, though. There are no fixes for it, so it's gone. Oh. Okay, well, we've got more room in the car now, so I can drop a couple of things. <laughs> I can drop everything off. Ah! Looting is back on the menu, boys! Ah, fantastic! Ah. Look. Everything has a silver lining, even having to lose one of your only off-road tires. Uh, I may as well check this car while I'm here. And while I'm doing that, I'll have a can of noms. Hello? Marvelous. I will take all of these. I also need to sort out my uh, inventory again, though. Anything here? No. Let's have a uh, gobble of some more food. Gobble some more food. No? Hmm. Can I just use it? Yes, I can. Right from there. Okay, let me move these gubbins around, since there's so much room for them now. There you go. And off we go. This is a nice, relatively gentle drive so far. I mean, you know, t popped tires notwithstanding. But that one didn't pop because we were off-road here. That one popped a while ago. Let's try and not pop the new spare tire, though, shall we? Go around whatever that is. Why did my lights just go out? The battery actually empty. Yes, it is completely empty. My bad. That's fine. That's why we got these for. I can make more of them too. I'll just top it up once. Make another. And this is why I've got so much gubbins, and I'm actually completely okay with making more. Gets more of the items out of here, which allows me to deposit even more of them, which is fantastic. Yep, that's brilliant. Uh, drop these off, even better. All right, starting to rein in my inventory a bit. I'm actually a big fan of this. Huge fan. There you go. Let's be on the way. I know this isn't the best road car. Trust me, if I could have given you a better road, I absolutely would have. But sadly, we're in this together, okay? 
Now then, this actually is it okay? I'm, I'm glad we've got something, some feature on the road because I'm not used to the roads being that empty. And it was genuinely giving me a little bit of a concern. Got a problem with the door back there. And we've also got tourists over here. Yes, we do. Let's not play with them, though. Oh, really? Did, is I, do I just need to get near them for that effect to occur? It appears so. Huh. All right. Well, not the best, but also not the worst. Right, we need to be going in this direction, but now that I've got room in my uh, in my backpack for some other bits and bobs, I may as well go and uh, make use of it. So, first and foremost, well, I'm going to leave that like that. In fact, let me pop a flare. I'm going to drop it down. We're going to do some scavenging first. Then we're going to hit that house. Make as well, make use. Everyone was more or less on board with that in the comments that uh, we should be making use of perpetual stability whenever we have it. It's a gift from the zone. You don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Generally, you shouldn't look any horse in the mouth. There you go. Whether it's been given to you a gift or not, it's just rude. That. I didn't pick it up. Got to keep this down, apparently. Ah, there we are. That's uh, last use out of that. Sad but true. Right, keep your eye out for any uh, wandering tourists, since they are want to wander closer to any light sources. Hello, angry sounding metal. Oh, fantastic. More food. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, there is a phone in here that we can break down. Oh. Alright. Uh, I didn't mean to close the door. I swear. Uh, that is awful. The doors open both ways. And you know why that is a problem? Because I can't control which way they open then. And you know why that is a problem? There's a very specific reason why that is a problem. Is because if a tourist decides to just appear on the other side of the door and I open it outwards, I'm going to explode myself. I don't want to know what kind of damage they do up close. Hello. Something going on over there, but I'm not interested right now. Well, I hope that's giving me a bit of extra charge on my battery, frankly. I'm not sure how likely that is, but... I'm hopeful. We've already scanned that anomaly, I'm fairly certain. I'm almost tempted to go over and double check, but I don't really have the time, so... Oh, do we want to take this shortcut straight ahead of us? I kind of want to. Also, I love this song, so we're going to leave the door open. Door open. So I can no, no, no! I've got a hold... E down. There we go. This way we can just listen to it while we're out here. We're slowly making progress through this song at the uh, on the end screen. Well done to the people who noticed that I was gr like crawling through it with each episode, just playing the next part of the song along. All uh, right, let's grab all of these. I really enjoy it when games go out of their way to, you know, set the atmosphere, not just with, like, the the soundscape, but with the music in in there as well. It's, they seem completely different dis disciplines, honestly. I, that's a very uneducated uh, assumption, of course, but uh, it does seem that being able to pick out the right songs would be a different discipline to being able to create the right kind of soundscape. They're, they're different things. Okay, that is... This is, what, just a regular road flare? Oh. Oh, that, that's the one in my hand. That is an empty backpack. Oh, my lord. Didn't even occur to me that the game would do me dirty like that. Wow, both of them? Game, I thought we were friends. 
My goodness. Let's have a look around here. Ah, blue box. Thank you. Let's see if I can drop any more of this off anyway. Ah! Okay. Okay. Hey, Oppie. You've never cared about any of the zone's stories and superstitions. Huh. So, why now? What's in this Atlas for you? Sadness. What I do is not and has never been any of your business. You're Oppie, asking us to on. trust you. So, yes. It's our business now. Well done, standing How your ground about there. This? You two sign off and count orbs or whatever it is you like to do. And I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Oof. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. You sound a little bit desperate there, Oppie. I'm not going to lie. We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever. This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. It sure didn't seem too important earlier when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You want to play it's that game? Point. You really want to talk about our track records? Screw you, Oppie. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. I forget it. We're wasting our breath with this old man. There's got to be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Wow. <sighs> If you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. But we're better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. You literally just said you'd rather this run really me chance. and the remnant into the ground, though, Arby. You you literally just said that. In front of me. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. My god. Uh, actually, I'll bring this out, keep that on me, and that means I can drop some more of these off. Okay, yeah, liking it. If I want to make the maximum, actually, if I want to make the maximal use of uh, my inventory capacity, I should carry half stacks of things. Okay, we're leaving. Zone doesn't want me here anymore, it seems. We're going this way. We are going to take a short shortcut, because the zone is getting angry. But yeah, that, that whole thing with Arpy and Francis, that seemed deeper than just a, a little bit of a falling out there. The thing with Tobias, Arpy just seems so dismissive of Tobias, and that frustrates me enormously. But... Uh, yeah, the whole thing with Francis seemed like, oh goodness, we go slowly. We we use the brakes to adjust our foot. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is moving into a wave sideways. Don't do that. Don't do that. You, you hit it head on. Oh, got to remember that our car does not have the best traction on the rear wheels. But okay, we made it. We made it relatively well. No explosions. Very happy with this. Very happy. Couldn't, couldn't overstate how happy I am. We are alive. And in fact, we have moved away from the badness and the sadness over there. So let me get back to what I was doing. Uh, I think it is better for me to be carrying partial uh, stacks of things in my inventory than all of this. This can come out. This can go in here. And that can go over there. There we go. That is probably not the best setup there, but this allows me to carry stuff that I can actually stack with me in the zone. Uh, whereas those things, it's unlikely I'm going to find other ones of those, so I don't even know if they can stack. I could possibly take another shortcut, actually. Um, well, that's really high up, though, isn't it? Um, yeah, to get up there, we're going to need to get, which is the better way? I think the better way for us right now 
is to shimmy down here, go up through there and around, or would it be to go all the way through this area and back? Honestly, either way is not great. But I'm thinking the, the best thing for us to do, ultimately, is get down here, go around this way, I think that's going to be the shortest route, and then back down, activate the gateway, because we could activate it from here, and this is a straight road, whereas this is an off-road. I think that would be a, a more comfortable place to go through the storm. Alright, we're not going to go off the road here. Uh, fuel is not great. I wouldn't mind finding a car that I could uh, siphon some stuff out of. Oh, really? Right across the road this time? Would you like to charge my battery for me? Thank you. Appreciate it. It's given us a couple of points on the battery. Not, not a huge amount, but... A few. We've also got an opportunity to uh, investigate this building over here. But I have got some extra fuel in the in the uh, fuel can, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's leave that open so I can listen to the music. And potentially to any shenanigans that are going on. Let's also charge my battery a bit more. Yeah, nice. Pop. All right. It has been pointed out that it might be better for me to keep my looting in the side storage rather than my tools. But I really do feel that my like tools, especially my repair tools, are this the sort of things that I'm going to want to access very quickly if I need them. And so that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing. Go. It's actually not a bad little place. Getting some good loot from here. And some more food. Awesome. Check out the trash can. And then there's this as well. We may as well. Let's get you broken down. Pop. Have I got a, currently got a spare? I don't. Probably should make a spare then. While I'm out here. Spare pry bar, please. That's all I need for now. Oh, sorry. I really have closed you, shouldn't I? Alright, there we are. Just make sure that's in a good position in my backpack. May as well just shimmy it down there, I think. There. Relatively sorted. Also, can I assign a quick... Oh, I can. Of course, because we've got a much bigger backpack now. Um. Yeah, I kind of want the... the I want the med kit on my hotbar if I can have them there. Why is that on? Did I turn that on? Let's listen to that. I'm not sure if that is, uh, in fact, some sort of weird frequency there or what. Just a bit of static. Might just be a regular bit of static. Let's not deal with you. How long has that been on for? I should have been paying more attention. Is that potentially... No, that's probably just still that um, sizzling mist. We need to be up there. Can I possibly get up there? That looks like it would be quite the pain in the backside to get to, actually. But we could try. We have climbed steep hills before. We might be asking a lot of our cars at the moment. Let's see what we can do. No, 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 no. We are we are heading back to the road. Okay. Not happening. Fair enough. Let's just gently guide us back down. Thread the needle. Ha ha ha! Never doubted it for a second. Oh god. How about no? Well, I mean, you know, batteries charged. I guess. I could just go up on foot. You know what? That feels like a good move. Also, also, let's change channel. There we go. Yeah, let's go up on foot. It's a little bit radioactive down here, but that's fine. I've got loads of food. 
<laughs> I love that idea. I'm fine. Radi radiation isn't going to hurt me. I've got food. Don't you know? Can I have a flare? Thank you. Apparently you can't light a flare while running. You can't do many things while running, apparently. Including charging your impact hammer. Oh yeah, this is a much better idea. Because it's right here. What? 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 Please don't tell me that's from my car. Um. Please don't tell me that's from my car. Did you see anything? Is that an anomaly? I, I can... Oh. Yeah, it was two summer tires. Well, no, actually, it could easily have been from my car if it was two summer tires. Well, that was just concerning, frankly. Deeply concerning. Disapprove. Uh, I also want to gobble down some food. Launch. Uh, let's go this way. Another way in over here. I accept your offerings. Especially accept those offerings. Anything else? I don't see anywhere else that it could be. There could be loot on the outside. Well, let's just double check. And I may as well light another one. I've got flares to spare. There's also some lights there as well. Okay, the moment I do this, we have to go. All right. How about not? We're in business. Okay. The stabilizers are coming online, and the way looks clear. But I'm also getting spikes. The stability in your region is tanking. Get out of there. Fast. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that was a big jump. Apparently, my legs in, uh, absorb impacts fairly well. Right, we're going. Let's get in. Right, which one are we activating? Oh, really? Oh, wow, you utter scallywag. Okay, we need to just go around then. And there I was, planning everything carefully. Can we go? Oh, I didn't turn the engine on. You utter scoundrel. Okay. Let's go back. I'm going to go through that tunnel. This time, it's the right move. Maybe. Alright. Thank you for the charge. Appreciate it. I wished we had topped up the fuel before this happened. I may still need to. If I do need to, I'm going to need to do it before the bad part of the storm hits. But let's see what kind of distance we can make first. Okay, this is going to suck. Okay, never mind. Actually, worked out well for us. It is catching up on me really fast. Just the way it's going to have to be, though. Of course it would decide that my well-laid plans were like, nope. Ah, oh, There's something over there, but the red storm is really too close. I don't know what the red storm would do to me outside of the car. So, I'm going to say that that purple thing over there, whether it is the unstable energy, as some people suspect, or something even better... Or different. Uh, different is fine. Uh, I'm not going to go for it. Follow the road. The <laughs> road in very big air quotes. Ah, we're fine. We've got loads of time. I uh, might have even had loads of time to go and grab. No, it's already there. I would not have gotten to that in time, sadly. And there's no reason to feel the car at this point because we're easily going to get back to base and the fuel is free. That being said, I mean, I could just refuel the fuel tank, also, for free. Either way, I zoom! Activate the zone stabilizer in the outer zone, and escape. Jump. Okay. 
Nice work out there. Thank you. The sector stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. One more thing. All right. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. Duly noted, RP. Duly noted. Let's get some fuel in the car. Find a way into the wall. Also, fix the car at the Tinker Station. Also, also, it was brought to my attention that I may have just been misinterpreting the uh, bit of advice. You know what? I am willing to admit when I'm wrong. So let's go and have a quick look. Were there things in here that I was meant to break down? Were these, were these the uh, telephone and computer that I was being told of before that was behind the car? Was I being sassy when I shouldn't have been sassy? Always make sure you've got, you, you don't have to apologize after being sassy. It, it ruins the effect. No, no, it looks like my sass was warranted. Phew, I was very concerned, very concerned. Having to retract sass, worst feeling. All right, okay, well, there we go. All right, well, looking at the time, that was, a, that was a record time for us in an episode. So we've got a few minutes, so let's uh, go ahead and prepare the car. That way we can start the next episode by heading out. Now, what was in here? Steel panels, steel panel, steel door, summer tire. Let's have a think. Off-road tire, very nice. Summer tire, somewhat broken. That's fine. Eh. Let's replace you. I'm going to pop you in here, in exchange for you, there you go, pop that on, we've also got beep boops, we've got so many things I need to, to put in places, alright, uh, let's start with this because it's beeping at me, transmission fragment, it's not an interna in uh, international incident, if we don't tell anyone, there are a lot of Canadians in the world, who's going to miss three? Okay, so that's relating to uh, <laughs> chasing down the Canadians across the border. Well, uh, that steel panel is in pretty bad way. That steel door is in a pretty bad way. That steel panel needs a, a great bit of TLC. Uh, all of them kind of need a bit of uh, work, but uh, that steel door on that side is the worst. I'd say this steel door needs to be replaced. First things first, let's just get all of this sorted. Yeah. I may well... Oh. Well. Uh, I may well go ahead and replace some of the steel stuff with armored stuff if we have the ability to unlock it. I wouldn't be against that at all. And I've got one more steel panel that I can place down as well. Look, okay. Is that thing going to make everything pink? I, at least they'll match, you know? At least they'll match. Right, let's get this on as well. Yeah, it's, it's making everything pink. Is, it, is this always going to change? Is everything going to be pink? Or is it just going to be... It's going to decide what it wants to, to make things on the day. I'd be fine with that. Uh, the bumper needs a bit of TLC. We might be replacing it, so I'm not going to rush to do that one. Uh, what we will do, though, is the trunk. Is we are going to start popping things into the trunk. All right, so move all of this across. And these as well. Then I can reorganize stuff in here a little bit. Something like that will do. And then everything in here, hopefully... My lord, it can carry a lot of gubbins. Uh, can I drop a lot of these gubbins off? I can drop quite a few of them off, yes. I'm starting to think, quite desperately, that we need more room. Quite a lot more room. Uh, more gubbins. Yep. Let's grab everything out of there, please. And thank you. Right, so. Paint shelf. First and foremost, let's move the paints... And the decals over. This, I think, goes into here, doesn't it? Do I load it in? Okay. Oh, my bad. I need to uh, move some other stuff across as well. Let me do that first. So that goes across. Then 
Whether this all goes across. There we go. All right, let's just pop this down for a second. Oh, no, I just want to access it, please. In fact, let's take all of these out. And I think those go over here. Do they not? Oh, no, no, they absolutely do. Uh, SRS meeting module. Yeah, we can pop all of those in there, apparently. Is that the right place to put them, though? Just because I can, does it mean that that is the right place? There we go. Let's have a look at what that was. That was a new steering wheel, I believe. Rally steering wheel. We could switch over to that, I guess. You know what? Sure. Let's let's go ahead and swap these items. We'll go for the rally steering wheel. Yeah. Pop that on there. Anything else? No. Oh. Right. Let's see about dropping off a couple more things. If they can stack anywhere. No. We don't have that much room. Uh, that being said, we need a new tire. Uh, we also need a bit of research as well. And uh, I see that we needed... How many quirks were there? Uh, oh. It wanted us to fix... Oh, well, we haven't got any quirks back. Oh, no, you're lying. Uh, I think we needed a light repair kit, wasn't it? We've got 6.2 limb energy, though. So we should be able to work with that. Let's have a look. Light replacement kit. Confirm. We need that to fix a problem. Thank you. Uh, I'm kind of tempted for the expanded lockers, if I'm perfectly honest. Growing very tempted for that. Uh, I wouldn't mind unlocking the hand vac, but... And this is a big but. I would also very much like to get down there and unlock extra storage, like, hugely. Um, got the side battery, battery, plasma charger, mini turbine. Oh, right, yeah, the large propeller, that makes sense. It doesn't make sense, but, uh, you know. Limb pulse emitter. Go for a turbo light engine at this point, we've got enough. Hmm... Nate's in a custom crafted powerhouse boasting a turbocharger, electronic multi point injection, improved compression ratios, and a stainless steel exhaust manifold. Well, before we get that, off road tire is a must, so let's unlock that and we'll decide what else I can afford around that. We could still afford the engine upgrade, however, insulated headlights would be nice. Something you just need a cute little Faraday cage for your headlights. Augmented by some limb-assisted plasma dispersal. Keep those beams blasting in spite of electrical discharge. Or, no, I can't get that one. Yeah, none of those are available to me. There's the side floodlights. That's a possibility. Um, there's the electrician's kit. An improvised but perfectly serviceable meter and analysis tool. This will help in the diagnosis of repair and of most electronic equ equipment. That is very tempting. Uh, getting better... Oh, I'd need another circuit board for that. But it is also tempting. Can I zoom in? Athletic stimulation station. Hmm... Then deco vend and f a fish tank? What on earth would a fish tank do in this place? A repair station? Hmm. I imagine that's gonna... Yeah, that, that's locked behind unstable energy. Uh, investigate a module. This upgrades to the tinker station. We'll report back to you which elements of a diagnosis are correct. A new chip also adds the ability to spend anchor energy to scan the car for a non... Wow. Okay. Might be worth it, actually, considering what we're about to do. Improved antenna is nice. Expanded locker. I don't think we need rapid fill. Time is not that much of uh, a problem. But I think getting another locker, because we're already starting to run out of energy. I know it's, it feels frivolous, but 
I feel like this is going to be a necessary... Oh, we've got a couple of options. Oh, okay, this one goes in a few places. Um, could I have one over here? Could I have one over here? Um, sure, we'll pop one over here. Oh, this is a bigger locker. Is it a bigger locker? Is it actually bigger than that? Is what I mean? Right, so that's the size there. Yeah, it is. All right. Let's do a little bit of shimmying around. I would like all of these things in here. There we are, and we're going to go grab all of those from over here. Double there you are. I like it. I'm going to keep you out. All right, not looking too bad. Not looking too bad at all, actually. Uh, I would like to pop this in here. See what we get. So many... Oh, my goodness. So many steel plates. Greatly approved, though I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fit those in here, sadly. Maybe the big things we keep out... And we pop those in here instead. I guess a couple of things are going to just... It'll have to be an overflow point, but uh, that actually works out for me. Right, how much more energy have we got? We've got 3.7. Now then, we were told to armor up, but we don't strictly need to immediately go out into the zone. Uh... I could go for... Well, what kind of door have we got on the on the back right now? Is it just an armoured door? It is an armoured door. Then I'm thinking armoured doors and radiation shielding panels because one of the tooltips in, uh, in the loading screens says that modified components share their modification to neighbouring components. Maybe I was misunderstanding that, but if we operate with that information as is, then an armoured door would be what we want. Oh, really unstable energy for that? Oh, you make me sad. You make me so sad. Huh. Well, then maybe we're going to have to do a, a fair bit of work in order to get that. But still, getting some radiation plating, I think, would be a solid one. Grab you. Bring us down to 2.8. I could expand another locker. Get parts lockers then as well. That might not be too bad. I like the idea of being able to scan better. So let's go and make a circuit board. Actually, do I want to make the better headlights? Let's consider it first. Can I afford to? I can make one of them. It's one K-Lim to do it though. Uh, it has been suggested I get a... Uh, ooh, that goes up to a crude flashlight. Relightable flare. Let's grab that. We're going to have so many logs to read in the next episode. Right, so we've got a flare gun. Uh, it's unstable energy to get the crude flashlight, okay. Well then, I would like to get to the roof rack. It's going to cost me an awful lot to do it. I don't think... Oh, actually, I can get a large fuel can. I don't believe I can afford... Yeah, I can't afford the engine anymore. Which is fine. Limb pulse emitters. Now, this would help with removing things to try to attach to the car, from what I understand. We've also got jump jacks, auto parker. There's a lot of gadgets in here, actually. Let's see what it unlocks. The resource resource radar. It's precisely calibrated to detect nearby resources and raw materials. Ooh. Ion shielding, mobile workbench upgrade, anti-grav emitter, magnetic... All right, we're going to unlock this just because it leads to other stuff that seems awesome. But we are now burning through what remains of my uh, very limited energy. I don't think I want 
Well, maybe a, a little generator. Uh, the lightning rod is already quite nice, though, but maybe a mini turbine or a hydro generator. It's not simply that energy from raindrops is being converted into electricity. It's the acid and heavy metal sometimes present with the zone's rainfall that's also being utilized. So probably don't drink the water. Side battery just gives us more battery charge. Mini turbine doesn't sound like a bad one. Because I feel like this is... We don't have an alternator, it seems, on our car. Is this uh, effectively a poor man's alternator? Well, actually, no, it's not a poor man's alternator. This, this, is, this, is, this is an engineer's alternator. This is so over-engineered. This is exactly the sort of alternator I'd make. What? Turning some of the uh, mechanical energy from the, from the drive shaft into charge for the battery? No, gonna use wind. Just drive fast. Sure, let's go ahead and grab it. <laughs> seems ridiculous, but that's why we're doing it. Also, I need a drink. Ah, delicious. Really? Can I? Please tell me I can get that. Please tell me you will let me get. Uh, gotcha, <laughs> you scallywag. I was about to try the vacuum over there. Uh, right, okay, so there's very few things we're now going to be able to afford. It is sad, I know, but. Large fuel can is somewhat tempting. Got a lead panel. I could just go lead plated door. I mean, I might need all of them eventually. Uh, the other thing is, of course, the insulated headlights or the improved antenna or the investigator module or the advanced workbench. No, I can't afford that one. Uh, then, the improved antenna, I think. We're going to go make ourselves a circuit board. Lightable flare. We will grab you in a moment. But first, circuit board, please. Which might be over here. No, that's tires. Over here. Circuit board. There we are. Oh, no, I didn't have enough energy. My bad. I thought it was showing that up. Oh, no, there is something in here that I can get. Okay, well, in that case, no. Huh. Uh, well, I, I suppose we're not going to be getting that then. That's a bit of a shame, but... Uh, we'll get the steel bumper then. I can upgrade the rear bumper. Oh, yeah. Look, you know, we, we're going to go through everything eventually. It, it is a bit of a shame when we can't do everything in one go, but it is what it is. Right, the next thing on the to-do list. Make the uh, light fix... Uh, sorry, the um, light repair kit. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make you craft one. Kind of want to look it up, but... Oh, well. Uh, highway travel. Highways are your shortcuts across the zone, allowing you to bypass junctions and arrive at your destination much faster. Expect them to be a smoother, easier ride. Ah, I was wondering because there was a sh there was a like a shield icon on the last. Uh... Let's drop that off in there. On the uh, the last junction that we went to. All right? Can I fix my headlights? No. Okay. It looks like I'm going to have to use this every single time. Though I have been told that this refreshes every time you go out into the zone. This isn't a case of... Uh, steering wheel... To, oh, yeah, we've got three items now. All right, I would like to select this one and fix it, yes. We get fully refunded, uh, or rather restored, guesses. Every time we visit the, the place. I th figured that they were a limited thing, so I wasn't willing to just try and guess. There we are. That is now fixed. But we definitely have other quirks. Uh, something, something, dome light turns on, but I'm not sure what that was, because the dome light definitely seemed to turn on. It's on now. When I take parts off, let me see, because that's something that I've been doing. Let's remove a part. No. I remove a panel. No. When I open the hood, 
I close the hood. Yes. Gotcha. All right. Uh, let's see. Hood is closed. Uh, we want dome light switches on. Submit diagnosis. Oh. Okay, maybe I completely misunderstood that then. Let's uh, turn that back off again and try it again. Turn the dome light off. Or it could be when any door is closed. Not when that one's closed. Just misunderstanding it. Maybe I've got them in the wrong way around in the Tinker Station. Definitely seem to be turning it on. Let's try that again then. Uh, so, dome light switches on. No, that doesn't seem right. Hood is closed. Dome light. Let's see if there's other toggles, maybe. Actually, we can easily check that, can't we? Let's turn it... Uh, yeah, let's close it. Yeah, it toggles. Okay. I should have I should have tested that first before running off half-cocked the way I did, but uh, there we are. We got there in the end. It was a simple thing to check. The scient scientist in me is wincing at such an obvious blunder. Correct diagnosis. Guess refunded. Okay, let's uh, see what this is going to require. A mechanics kit. Then I would like. I've definitely got a mechanics kit somewhere. Result. Right. The last one. I have no idea what that one's going to be. I've not noticed anything. Let's see if there's anything happening on the dashboard while I'm in here. See lights. Horn honking. Not noticing anything happening. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll pop on a little bit of uh, music. Open the door as well. All right. It is what it is. I'm sure we'll find it at some point. Uh, what else do we want to work on? There are quite a few. Quite a few. Uh, let's go and check in. We looked at the right light replacement kit. How many breaches does it take to change a light bulb? We're about to find out. Well, there we are. Uh, replaceable, a relightable flare. This may not be the best improvised flashlight the world has ever known, nor is it likely to meet even the most lenient safety standards. It may even singe your eyebrows. It does kind of work, though. Then that's good enough for me. Tonk. We have now got a relightable flashlight. These things can possibly be left behind. It does seem to run out eventually. It's got a lot more uh, condition than these, so we'll see. Assign it a quick, uh, quick slot. We are going to replace my regular flares with that. We do still want regular flares, though. Don't think that's going to be a replacement for them, but uh, actually maybe this can be the replacement for them. I don't actually need my health on my hotbar because I can trigger it automatically. Uh, let's pop that down there. Actually, no, let's... What, what we'll do is we'll do this instead. There we are. That looks quite nice. So, I don't really need all of these things. Maybe I'll just start using the, um, the flare gun for now. And eventually we'll go back to using regular flares. Uh, until then, we'll pop the regular flares in here. And since it's got a nice little spot for them and everything. Do I have anything else I need to pop in? No, I need to top up my mechanics kit. So let's do that. Uh, there we go. Let's make two of these. Let's make a couple of these. Yeah. Pop these in. Um, 
Okay, that's it. Now. Let's have a look at the side rack items. Can I see those anywhere? The mini turbine. Is using a large propeller to capture wind energy a kind of janky concept? It could be. Does it look just a little amateur? It might. But does it work? Great Scott, it certainly does. I would like to make one. There we go. And we are going to replace you with that. Until I've got an extra... Uh, extra component to put there. I really do wish now I had done that. Actually, this is the one that I wanted. Why, why are you putting the wrong thing on there? That being said, maybe I should keep that, considering how many times I was getting... Uh, getting shocked in the zone. <laughs> I like it. Oh, this doesn't look like it's going to activate from me traveling. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. But I'm starting to wonder if maybe this is actually more of a... Uh, when there's high winds... Uh, Alright, well, given that, and the fact that I'm a little bit concerned that uh, not having this to absorb some of the charge, let's keep, let's keep this for now, because that's also protecting our vehicle. I think that's, that's the wise move. Right, Off-road tires. These specialist treads may seem oversized and clumsy, but they offer welcome extra traction in the wet and in the mud. Let's make one, two, and indeed three. There we go. All of them shall be replaced. You're coming with. You're fully repaired, so I don't need to do anything else with you. Oh, good. You. Pop you back in here. We're getting quite a few spares now. Starting to kick you out. Alright, got proper tires on it now. Do I, do I want two spares? I could. Well, I haven't even got one spare, so yeah, we definitely need one. Alright, that'll do. What else would we like to make? The limb pulse emitter. This is not a pun. It is a carefully calibrated device capable of discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. This generates, uh, generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electro-organic entities to hold on or harm the vehicle. This replaces the bumpers. So let's get one of the 22 or just one. Does it have... It doesn't actually afford me better protection. Alright, so I'm just going to have one of these and hope that that's enough. Because if it's not, then we have problems. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah. It does look cool, though, let's be honest. Alright, this crude bumper can go in the... Uh, can be ground up. Go. Some more gubbins. All the grotto. There also, it looks like we. Oh, fantastic. We've got all the room we need. Okay. I'm going to assume that that's going to be sufficient. Let's hope. Because I very much would like to not have to replace my front bumper because that one does have to take a beating on the regular. Uh. I think we are good otherwise. I can now make the lead-lined panels, though. The addition of heavy lead layering reduces the damage and decay caused by over-excited radioactive particles. This won't make anyone impervious, but it will make them safer. Let's make four of these. Can't make four. I can. I probably just need to make the steel sheets. Wow, they're huge. 
They are actually huge. Grab you. Right, let's replace this part. Looks very junky, I love it. Oh, and take this around the other side. We only just got this one repaired. Already replacing it. And one more besides. Uh, do I want to keep these for now? They're very big to keep. Uh, I don't think so. And given that, look, okay. Mm. Is it time to say goodbye to the stars? A part of me doesn't want to, like, at all. Like, really, really doesn't want to. But another part of me is wondering if maybe I should. Uh, for now, let, let's instead store these back here. And... I can be rid of the crude items that we're just keeping in the back there. Let's keep our star panels. They are gorgeous. Eventually we might want more. Actually, that one could do with a bit of a repair, so let's pop it into here. Uh, there we go. Nice and snug fit. Then we want one more. This one will have to be repaired another time. Hello, friendly dumpster. I'll have a chat with you in a second. Yeah. Let's grab all the gubbins. And then we're going to do a little bit of de further decorating. And then I think we're more or less done. All right, so panels. Lead plated panel. Craft one of these. Another one. Craft that. Perfect. Let's get it in place. There we go. No, I, not what I meant to do. Damn it. Once again. <sighs> I'm going to need to repair the stuff back here. Getting that repair station sounds like it would save me a lot on putty. For just a little bit of repair I need to do every now and then. You. And you. and go up there. There we go. Right. Starting to actually starting to look like steampunk, I'm going to say. Getting a steampunk vibe from it. Don't need the steel bumper as it happens in the end, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, we need more chemicals. That's something we're going to have to keep an eye out for then. Uh, was there anything else we wanted? I'm almost tempted to make a spare off-road tyre. Yeah, why not? Why not? I've got off-roads, and they're the tires that I want to use. So let's actually keep a spare of an off-road rather than a summer tire. Can I fit this in here since it is a little bit broken up? No. Then, I'm afraid, you go in here. Grab all the bits. And at this point, I think we're almost done. If not completely done. I could make a couple more survival bits and bobs. I do need to actually replace... Uh, make replacements for my impact hammer. Uh, and the vac, I would say. Gonna need some gears. Impact hammer made. Need thermosat for the liberator. And I don't have the vac. Okay. I'll make an extra scrap of them. Pop those in here. Tools for the road. Uh, let's pop the impact hammer in there. It's no easy way for me to place the rest in there, sadly. So this is going to have to go in the back. Am I going to remember it's there? No. Sadness. In before I actually, you know, unironically forget that's there when we're out and about. Okay, let's uh, talk with Franny Dumpster. Hello. Thank you. Chemicals! 
You knew exactly what I wanted, friendly dumpster. Thank you so much. You're listening to me. Not sure how I feel about that, but... Still got stuff to offer. Very well. I wonder how friendly dumpster considers what we need in regards to regular items. Thank you, th friendly dumpster. Uh, Alright, well, then we can make two more repair putties. Absolutely well. Those are super important. Oh, really? Max stack is three. Well, not the best, but okay. Pop it in there, then. But I think with that, though, we are pretty much done. Got a nice big storage of items there. And uh, we've got one item to diagnose. You know what? I'm going to wait until the next episode. We will be... We will be guessing, because I may as well use the guesses, to see if we can di diagnose it. But I'm going to wait until the next episode, so you have plenty of time to uh, let me know what you think it might be. Do we have any fun colours? We've got crimson paint. Hmm. Are we going to have a, a red car? Sure. How crimson is crimson? Oh, it's very crimson. Okay. All right. I'm okay with this. We're going to have a, a blood red car. Don't read into it too much. I'll have blood red down the sides. Of course, we're going to go with two-tone, naturally. We're going to need some more decals there. Oh, I painted the wrong thing. I always seem to do that. I still have the whole thing red. That just doesn't look right. Uh, all right. We've got burnt orange. We've also got light blue. We've also got not today. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see how burnt orange looks like. And then I think light blue. We're not going to go with off white. I refuse to be that boring. Look at you. It certainly has a different look to it. Uh, let's see what the light blue would look like. I don't think the light blue is going to go well with the red, no matter what we do. But I could be mistaken, actually. Have I been mistaken? I don't think I have. <laughs> no. I don't really think that the burnt orange is much better, but I think it's a little better. So we'll go with that. We have to experiment. Okay, we need to change the, the car's look every now and then. Do you wear the same clothes every day? Exactly. Don't answer if you do. Uh, there we go. Let's see what you look like. Huh. Alright. I think I'm okay with that. I actually think that looks pretty cool. Uh, let's grab the stars. Do we want stars again? Or do we want go faster stripes at this point? I really like the stars. But... Let's pop these on. You can barely see it through the uh, lead, though. How much more of this have I got? I've got a decent amount. Goodbye, glowy stars. I I miss you already. I'm not sure how long we can go without the stars. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, so if you enjoy the stripe more, get the most enjoyment out of it that you can. That's my, that's my advice here. Uh, we're also going to do the chassis. Because I feel that interacts. Maybe not, then. What about at the back? Um. No. Not a fan of it on the back. Let's actually see what this would be like on the chassis. Pop this in. Tunk. Then on the chassis as well. Not sure if it's going to change anything in any meaningful way. It's just the same thing everywhere. That's, that's a bit of a shame. I was hoping that it would have different... Different... Uh, 
Uh, I'm not even sure what to say. I, I guess that's a Sasquatch. I guess different creatures uh, with the uh, no-go sign, but uh, apparently not. A uh, bit of a shame there. All right. Other than that, though, let's give you another quick charge. I think besides that, the car is actually in a pretty good position. It does have some quirks. We will check those out in the beginning of the next episode, along with reading the the logs as well. So let me know what you think the quirks are, and uh, we will have a look. And just to give you a, a, another look through here, here's all of the things that we can highlight. I think some of them we've already ruled out in this episode but in the next one we'll go ahead check through those and uh, get on with the next mission uh, it might just be a uh, equipment gathering mission i want to get whatever i need to be able to make armored stuff we've also got a car over here and some more stuff to break down so there's a few more things to do in the garage but uh, probably maybe uh, 10 minutes or something before we head on out into the zone but that is going to be it from me i really do hope you've enjoyed i hope to see you in the next but until then and as always do take care breaches